Hey guys, Kate Matter here again. Uh, I just picked up this game, Battlefield 3, for PC. Um, I'm quite enjoying it. I'm still working through the single player. Of course, it has great graphics. Um, the, the atmosphere is awesome, the immersion is great. And I played the beta quite a bit, so I got a little taste of the online. I still haven't jumped online with Battlefield 3, but soon, after I beat the single player, I will. Um, I'd like to raise an issue, though. Um, don't get me wrong, when I play Battlefield 3 online, I plan to use, you know, my Razer Rochi mouse and my Microsoft Bluetooth keyboard. Because honestly, when you play a PC game online, you'd be at a severe disadvantage if you didn't use mouse and keyboard. But, when I was playing the single player, I noticed some problems with using the 360 pad, which is supported in Battlefield 3. However, there's some problems associated with it. For one, the game has uh, quick time events, QTE sequences. Uh, such as a cinematic moment where an enemy attacks you and you have to hit a button to defend yourself or you have to perform an action such as climbing something and you also have to hit a button. These sequences do not work at all with the 360 pad and the on-screen display displays the keyboard keys and you would think something like press E to defend yourself would be the use button B, but no, it doesn't work. Or a space bar to jump up on something would be A for jump, does not work. So, another thing, um, when you use the menus in the game, there's different tabs to pick your different options, or if you're in the multiplayer, you have to pick your loadout and such, switching through the tabs. This also does not work on the 360 pad. You can scroll in the menu, but you cannot switch the different tabs. So why did they implement the controller functions at all if they're going to half-ass it? And, you know, it's basically broken for the single player because you can't proceed past these quick time events without using the keyboard. Um, and then the third issue I have is lack of rumble support. Um, you know, every PC game in the past two, three years has had full 360 controller support, you know, and full rumble support on the pad, so I just want to know why they would even put it in and half-ass it. I mean, you have all these other PC games that have come out in the past couple of years, stuff like, you know, Aliens vs. Predator, you know, this recently came out, Deus Ex, and then you got stuff like Rage just came out, Metro 2033, somewhat older, but still fully supports the 360 pad, Crisis 2, Crisis 1, Bulletstorm, and Batman Arkham Asylum. All these support 360 pad, all of them support Rumble. And, you know, Battlefield 3 just does not. It's like, why even put the support in there? Anyways, there is a workaround, though, for these quick time events. Um, get the program called XPatter. You've probably heard of it. Um, basically, map these three buttons to the 360 controller. Um, the E key, map that to the B button. The uh, left mouse click, map that to the right trigger and spacebar, mount that to the A button. All these correspond with the actual functions. A button is jump, so space, B button is use, so E, and right trigger is shoot, and left mouse click. Um, this fixes the QT events and allows you to get past them. However, it's kind of ridiculous, you have to use a third-party program just to get full controller support, and this still doesn't fix the fact that there's no rumble support on the controller. So in my description here, I'll put a link to a support topic I made on the Battlefield 3 battle log site. Go to that link in my description. Um, there'll be a follow button on it. Click that. The more follows it gets, the more likely the developers are to see it. So if you're like me and you like to play, you know, single player games 
you know, casually sing single player games offline with the controller, you know, relax back on your couch, with your HGTV, you know, help support the topic. And maybe the developers will see it and take notice. Um, it's a great game. I would love to, for it to have full 360 controller support. Um, you know, I get people saying, oh, well, why don't you just buy it on 360 then, or why don't you just buy it on PS3? Because um, PC developers over the past couple of years have made it clear that when you buy a PC game now, it fully supports the 360 pad. And then you get all the advantages of a PC game, you know, free online, dedicated servers, better graphics, all of that. You know, there's nothing wrong with having choice. I don't like how elitists seem to think that you're only allowed to use a mouse and keyboard when you play a PC game. You know, yes, I can understand you play online, you're going to be at a disadvantage aiming-wise with a controller. Although there's a lot of players that are great with the controller and can take on mouse and keyboard players. Um, I'm not one of them. I'll definitely be playing it online with my mouse and keyboard. But when I play it offline, I want full 360 controller support. So, anyways, um, my next video coming up here will be the Uncharted 3 Collector's Edition unboxing. That will be coming out November 1st. And then after that, I should be getting the Metal Gear Solid HD Collection, Collector's Edition. I'll also be unboxing that. That's later on uh, November 8th, I think. So keep a lookout for those videos and help support uh, my link in the description. Uh, see you guys later. Peace out.